2 Corinthians 6, chapter 14 says, uh, Be not unequally yoked, or sometimes that's uh, translated, uh, Do not be yoked with unbelievers. That's a passage that falls into the category I mentioned of, it's about life, but it seems to apply directly to work. And the question that we asked was, well, if you shouldn't be unequally yoked in marriage, which is clearly the context that Paul is talking about, uh, do the same principles behind that also mean you shouldn't be unequally yoked in work? And even on that, there was some disagreement, I think, within our committee. Some felt like if it's clearly only about marriage in the scripture, then it's really only about marriage. But I think most of us thought, well, this, the same principles would apply to work, although we have to be careful not to be too dogmatic about that. And so as we thought about what does it mean not to be unequally yoked in a way that would be harmful at work, we thought, well, maybe that means you shouldn't be in a partnership with someone who's not a believer. But then the question came, well, why specifically is a partnership not such a good idea, but maybe being employed by a company that's not a Christian company, that maybe that's okay? Or can you own shares of stock in a, in a secular company? Or is it okay if you're boss? Or, you know, what, what are the parameters? And the interesting part of that discussion was it led us to ask, well, what would it mean to be equally yoked? And we know the answer from that from, uh, from Jesus. Take my yoke upon you, for my burden is easy and my yoke is light. And so if we're already yoked with Jesus, what does that mean? Well, it means that the goals, the aims, the things that he and his Father want to accomplish in the world, justice, mercy, peace, productivity, human flourishing, if, if those are the things he wants to accomplish, to be yoked with him means we're always headed towards those. So to be unequally yoked would mean to put ourselves in a position where by our workplace relationships or our dependency on a job or our investments, we might be drawn away from the ends and the goals that God wants to achieve in the world. That really helped us think about the passage in a way that, uh, as I say, takes a passage that is not necessarily about work, but helps gives us a, a rich resource, a rich way of thinking about our work.